Obviously, there are a variety of healthcare concerns around the globe, and they vary depending on the country and depending on um, within the countries. So it is important to recognize that around the globe there are major differences. There are differences in human resources, there are differences in um, the skill sets within these countries, there are also differences as to what these countries are being confronted with. So in many of the countries that Chapaigo works, which is an international NGO working with low resource countries, we find that in the same countries we are confronted not only with um, maternal child health um, deaths, but we are also being confronted at the same time with increasing challenges regarding non-communicable diseases. Of course, all of our interest is ensuring that all families have access to he quality healthcare services, and that's critical. I've been, I've had the privilege of uh, joining Gap Fund as one of the board members, and I um, have met an extraordinary group of individuals that are participating in Gap Fund, certainly under the leadership of Sigma Theta Tau. I think what has been wonderful for me to see is that together we've been able to start to, to articulate what we as a nursing community and as a nursing community that's part of a large interdisciplinary community can do together. So for me, Gap Fund has been that avenue that allows us to bring together nurses and midwives from a cross section um, of work, whether that be education or service delivery or regulation, and bring them together um, to, to, to come up with a unified voice around what are the particular issues for our nursing community, from uh, leadership all the way through to policy and education. Well, I think in this day and age, we should be very clear that no one organization or no one individual can do what we need to do to ensure that all people around the world have access to quality healthcare services. So I think what GAP Fund um, is doing from a collaboration is how it has reached out to other international organizations and other associations as well as individual bodies and individuals um, to allow people to come together at, at a leadership level and to, to help guide the dialogue that must occur between all of us. Um, so, and I think they've provided that venue that is really, really exciting to see. Well, I've been a member of Sigma Theta Tau since um, I was in college, and it, was, uh, it started with the honor of becoming a member. Um, um, I must say my daughter is also a member as a nurse, so um, Sigma Theta Tau is part of us. But certainly as a nurse leader and as a CEO of an organization that has physicians and nurses, um, and midwives and community health workers as part of our organization, I think Sigma Theta Tau I look to as a leadership body, a body that is helping us look at what makes our profession, how do we lead in this profession, how do we ensure we have the standards to be in this profession. So to have an organization like Sigma Theta Tau take the lead in creating this body that brings together so many other organizations and individuals is truly extraordinary leadership in and of itself and I think it speaks to what Sigma Theta Tau has stood for all these years. Research, scholarly activity, leadership in nursing, we absolutely need that to be to move our profession forward. I am thrilled to be on the board of GAP Fund. I'm thrilled to be able to work with my Sigma Theta Tau colleagues and all my colleagues that are on the GAP Fund board. Um, but I'm most excited now to be at this regional meeting and to witness individuals that have a voice, that are brought together from all aspects of nursing, that are here at this meeting and um, perhaps for the first time are, are uh, bringing their voice and their opinions from their countries as to what's needed to take our profession to the point that it needs to be taken.